As we know, the economy has taken a hit on the value of many homes and businesses. So how does that affect you if you're in the process of a separation or a divorce? Kathy Hunt with Gaylor Wallace and Hunt joins us now to explain how the economy's impact is working with property distribution. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. So you say people come to the office and ask your advice. All right, the economy with the way it is now, would it be beneficial for me to separate now or wait until it improves? And it, I guess it depends. Well, it does depend. When spouses are getting divorced, the marital estate has to be valued. So you're going to value everything that the people have acquired from date of marriage to the date of separation um, and you'll subtract from that the debt you get the net value of the marital estate and each spouse presumptively will get fifty percent so say for example you own a business and you are going to have to take the business in the divorce because you're the only person that can run it you may want to go ahead and separate when that business is valued lower because it gets valued on the date of separation. Got it. So then when you're separating 50-50, there won't be as much going to the other spouse. Right. So okay. if your business is valued at $100,000, the other spouse will get $100,000 worth of something else, maybe the marital home. But if your business is valued at $200,000, the other spouse will get more. So timing does play an issue in today's economy. What about with the homes? If there is no business involved, home sales, as we all know, have been you know, at, at all-time lows, and, and it's, uh, the values of homes have dropped so much. But staying in a marriage that is not good, I mean, how do you weigh those options? Well, when you are deciding which spouse is going to take which asset, you really have to do an evaluation on this because that real estate could be a boom or it could be a bust. So for example, say you have a marital home and a beach home that's very common today and the value used to be a million dollars but now it's about seven hundred thousand okay. dollars. If you are the spouse that can afford to maintain that home, carry the debt on the home, you might want to take that asset because in a couple of years when the market revives, mm. you may get a windfall. However, if you take that asset, you can't afford the debt, the insurance, the taxes, uh, you may be the spouse that gets a zero value because you may lose the asset if you can't continue to maintain it. So you really have to be careful in today's economy about which asset you're going to take. If there is a couple that is not fully decided whether they're going to go their separate ways, would it be advantageous to just come and have a consultation with it someone is. like you just to sort of lay it all out and, and think about it? Oh, we do a lot of consultations that I sort of call Divorce 101. Uh, sometimes people come to see us, we explain how properties will be divided in 401ks and how there will only be enough money, you know, you used to support one household, now you'll be supporting two. And sometimes people decide that maybe things aren't that bad. Maybe they mm. do want to stay together. So sometimes a consultation is good education for people to realize what life might be like if they got divorced. Because oftentimes finances are the reason or one of the reasons that marriages run into such trouble. I mean, I think it's probably one of the top things well, that couples argue about anyhow. You know, we really encourage people to try and go get counseling, see if they can work their differences out. Maybe they just need financial counseling, um, and a divorce isn't really the right answer for them. So a consultation can be helpful in maybe keeping a marriage together. <laughs> Actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. But certainly uh, getting a value on your business, your home, your assets, that is probably the first step just to look at the big picture. Would that be right, Kathy? That's true, and it's really critical. If you are getting divorced and you own a business, for example, it may be the most valuable asset you have in your marital estate. It has to get valued correctly. And you need to have a divorce attorney that understands business valuation. It's a highly specialized area. And there are actual evaluators who, that's all they do. Business appraisers. But there is a varying degree of certification. There are accrediting organizations that have minimal standards, and there are some that have quite significant standards. And your attorney needs to understand what those standards are. They need to be able to give you strategic advice, the appraiser to retain, the appraiser to avoid. Got it. Okay, all great advice. Kathy, thank you so much. This information will be on our website at mycarolinatoday.com. Just click on legal advice.